Um, talk me through briefly, actually, how a bandsaw works. What is a bandsaw? It's a very simple machine. It consists of two wheels, one of which is powered and the other is unpowered. And the blade is con it's a continuous saw which, um, which rotates around the two wheels. The, the tension on the, on the upper rod, the, the, they normally work with the, the upper wheel, can rise and fall, which gives the tension. They have a, a guide here, which again rises and falls. So if you're cutting something fairly thin, you lower the, lower the guide so there's less chance of the blade flexing. They're, they're an identical set of guides, which are difficult to see, but they're underneath the table, and they, they keep the, the blade running uh, straight and true both top and bottom. And that's a pretty crucial part of a bandsaw, isn't it? How it's guided. So what, what's going on in there? I mean, what actually keeps the blade true? These, these guides are, they consist of a, a casting with adjustable um, low friction plastic blocks here and they keep the blade in alignment. And then behind it is this thrust, thrust wheel which takes up the, the, um, any tendency of the blade to, to deflect backwards when it's under load. So should it actually touch when it's running? It, it, I like to have it set so it, it, it's running, for, it doesn't touch the, the guide, but if we're doing a deep cut, it does rubber, press against the, uh, the thrust wheel and rotate it. And talk to me a little about blades. I mean, we, you, you use this for deep cutting veneer, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and that would take a special kind of blade, wouldn't it? So what blades are there that you use? The blades I normally use are a, an inch and a quarter or 32 millimeter blade with a two, two skip blade. This gives a fairly coarse cut and it's great for deep sawing boards or cutting veneers. And it doesn't matter the fact there's a fairly coarse cut because we sand it afterwards. The smallest blade I, I fit to this is a three quarter inch or 19 millimeter blade which I use for finer work and of course for curve work where the wide blade would, would um, interfere with the cutting a sharp radius. Now in blade jargon they refer to skip, is this sort of some dance that the bandsaw it, does? It's the number of teeth on the, uh, on the blade and generally speaking a wider spacing of teeth enables the, the sawdust to clear more quickly so it's more efficient for, for deep sawing. And the other aspect of the blade, of course, is the, um, the set, isn't it, that creates the kerf. Do they vary? Or? The, the, the wider blades have a, have a, a coarser set. Um, I don't particularly specify any set from the manufacturer. I just buy the ones that they supply, which uh, are more than adequate for the, for the work we need to do. So in simple terms, how much wider is the saw cut than the thickness of the blade, roughly? I'm Percentage saying, terms. Probably about fifty percent wider. This will, the actual mm. saw, saw curve is, is about a, a millimeter and a half, one point five millimeters. And the reason being for curve. We need that so it, so that the, the the width of the blade behind it doesn't bind on the on the timber, so it can has a free passage through. And some timbers do close up, don't they? Some, particularly Lebanon cedar, is very yeah. uh, prone to doing that. And that's the advantage of a bandsaw over a circular saw. I was using a circular saw the other day on some plywood at a timber yard, and it actually, the, the plywood closed up on the blade, and the friction just stopped the, the cordless bl uh, blade rotating. Which with a bandsaw, it, it really is an underrated machine, isn't it? It, it is, yes. And um, as well as uh, cutting curve work, by fixing the fence to the table you can cut very accurate straight cuts as well in fact I, I often cut tenons on this machine and I get a very accurate result now this is essentially the same as like the smallest bandsaw you can buy which you can carry under your arm in fact I've got one I think it's called um, a delta and I use it for guitar making